I don't know what in the world caused it. Well, let's take a look, huh? Yeah. Mr. Clark says he's never seen anything like it. Mr. Clark? Yeah, he runs the AV club. That right. Apparently, some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. We were wondering if you had time to talk. We have some questions. A lot of questions. So you know how in Cosmos, Carl Sagan talks about other dimensions, like beyond our world? Yeah, sure. Theoretically. Right, theoretically. So, theoretically, how do we travel there? Well, basically, there are parallel universes. Just like our world, but just infinite variations of it. We were thinking of more of an evil dimension, like the Veil of Shadows. You know the Veil of Shadows? Echo of the material plane where necrotic and shadow magic. Yeah, exactly. If that did exist, a place like the Veil of Shadows, how would we travel there? Theoretically. Well, picture an acrobat standing on a tightrope. Now, the tightrope is our dimension, and our dimension has rules. You can move forwards or backwards. But what if right next to our acrobat, there is a flea? Now the flea can also travel back and forth, just like the acrobat, right? Right. Here's where things get really interesting. The flea can also travel this way, along the side of the rope. He can even go underneath the rope. Upside down. down. Exactly. But. We're not the flea, we're the acrobat. In this metaphor, yes, we're the acrobat. So, we can't go upside down? No. Well, is there any way for the acrobat to get to the upside down? Well, you'd have to create a massive amount of energy, more than humans are currently capable of creating, mind you, to open up some kind of tear in time and space. And then, you create a doorway. Like a gate? Sure, like a gate. But again, this is all... Theoretical. But, but what if the skate already existed? Well, if it did, I, I think we'd know. It would disrupt gravity, the magnetic field, our environment. Heck, it might even swallow us up whole.
Hey, Chief. Hello. Hey. Hello. Jesus, Chief, you all right? What are you doing here? We tried calling, but... Yeah, the phone's dead. Hey, so Bev Mooney came in this morning all upset, said that Dale and Henry went hunting yesterday, and they didn't come back home. She thought they were on another binger, but she's not so sure now. I think this whole Will Byers thing has everybody on edge. Where was this? It was at the station. No, no, where did Henry and Dale go hunting? Oh, uh, out near Curly. Markwood. What? Okay. You go back to the station. I'll take care of this, all right? Are you sure? Yeah, leave it. Oh, hey, uh, they found Barbara's car. What? Barbara Holland's car? Seems she ran away after all. Stadies found it late last night at a bus station. Funny, right? Keep doing our job for us. Yeah, it's funny. What's he off his meds again? He's been spending too much time with Joyce Byers. That's what I think. Freeze to death all winter? I told you not to take these down. They were in the way, babe. How long are you gonna keep those up? I mean, really. You know, it's a shame what they've done to this family. What? The Sattler Company. Went to the quarry on the way over here. I just wanted to look around, you know? Couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. No warning signs. No fence, no nothing. Ought to be held accountable if you ask me. It would take a lot of energy to build a gate like this. But that's got to be what happened. Otherwise, how'd we get there, right? Right. What we want to know is, do you know where the gate is? Then how do you know about the upside down? I, I need to see your compasses. What? Your compasses, all of your compasses, right now.
talking about this? Well, they're all facing north, right? Yeah, so? Well, that's not true north. What do you mean? I mean exactly what I just said. That's not true north. Are you both seriously this dense? The sun rises in the east, and it sets in the west, right? Which means that's true north. So what you're saying is the compasses are broken. Do you even understand how a compass works? Do you see a battery pack on this? No. No, you don't, because it doesn't need one. The needle's naturally drawn to the Earth's magnetic north pole. So, what's wrong with him? Well, that's what I couldn't figure out, but then I remembered. You can change the direction of a compass with a magnet. If there's the presence of a more powerful magnetic field, the needle deflects to that power. And then I remembered what Mr. Clark said. The gate would have so much power. Disrupt the electromagnetic field. Exactly. Meaning, if we follow the compasses north? They should lead us to the gate. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Nothing. I hope that's not meant for me. What? No, oh, no, I was just thinking about joining softball. Oh. Well, uh, listen, I'm really sorry. I mean, even before you threatened me with a baseball bat. Okay. I panicked and, I mean, I was a total dick. Yeah, you were. 